Meat tastes amazing, but the way it is produced today is not sustainable. There is an emerging technology within cellular agriculture called cell-based meat that allows us to make meat that tastes as delicious as conventional meat, but without the impact on our environment, our health, and the animals. methods of conventional meat production have been known to significantly impact our environment, our health, and animal welfare. Consumption of animal products has been shown to be the largest contributor to land degradation, water usage, climate change, and biodiversity reduction. Foodborne diseases, such as salmonella, cause up to 420,000 deaths per year. To mitigate foodborne diseases, animals are pumped with antibiotics. They're actually more used in animals than in humans, which on the long term can lead to having superbugs that are resistant to any antibiotic we create. There are many solutions to this issue. The obvious one is to simply reduce the amount of meat that we consume. But this is not something that can happen in the time frame that we need. Because of that, there's been a rise in alternative meats. There's a lot of companies working on solutions to make pork, milk, leather from either methods of cellular agriculture, plant-based meats, or insects. Looking at meat specifically, for a while, plant-based have been the best alternative and have made significant progress in the last few years. Cell-based meats offers an even better solution where we're able to exactly mimic conventional meat. Cell-based meat is the bridge between conventional meat and plant-based meat. Cell-based meat is meat that is made using cell culture techniques. You take a small sample of tissue from the animal and you can then expand these cells in a medium full of nutrients. You can then put it together to make a burger, a sausage, or whatever you want. It reduces our environmental impact, the health impact, and obviously doesn't require animal killing. At scale, this can reduce the land usage, water usage, and CO2 emissions. Cell-based meat can be made in sterile environments, which reduces the risk of foodborne diseases and can be made without antibiotics. In simple terms, there are three main steps to make cell-based meat. The first step is to get the cells from the animal. You can do this without requiring to kill the animal and can take it, for example, from a skin sample or a blood sample. The second step is to grow those cells. This can be done in a bioreactor where you'll put a medium full of nutrients such as sugars, proteins, vitamins to get the cells to grow to where you want them to be. The third step is to differentiate those cells and make them become the type of tissue you want, for example, muscle or fat. At higher stakes, we're starting with pork, which from the conventional meats is genetically the most similar to human. The reason we chose that is because most of the research that has been done up to now has been for human tissue in the medical field. That means that we can adapt the protocols from human to pork more easily than if we were working with chicken or other meats. The major challenges are currently the cost of production making something that's consistent and creating more complex meats. Our academic partners have already refined and optimized the protocols to go from induced prepotent stem cells to muscle and fat. What that means is that we can address the engineering challenges of scaling cell-based meat and innovate to reduce its cost. In 2013, the first cell-based meat burger was produced by Mark Post and cost about $300,000 to produce. Three years later, in 2016, the cost had already gone down to the low thousands. I see a future where cell-based meat will become the norm and where we'll be able to make every single cut of meat.